What is going on guys? So this is gonna be a full grocery haul. Just a quick grocery haul video. I actually went to Whole Foods, which I never go to Whole Foods. Last time I went was when we were at the old house, all living together, me, Nick, and Joe. And that was just for a few things. Never recorded or anything, but I do like to go every once in a while, maybe like once every six months. It is, however, expensive. For this, what I like to do with my grocery haul is probably try to hit four or five days. This is gonna be more like six to seven days. It was $127. If I went to HEB, got most of their brands, probably would have been like 90 bucks. But the thing about this place is it's a lot of organic food, stuff like that, Whole Foods. Whole Foods, hence the name. But a lot of organic, cage-free, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm not huge into that. I think it's fine for you know people to buy that, whatever they want to do. Me, I don't really worry about it too much, but a lot of these foods are organic. So we'll go over them, but just to start out, heads of lettuce. When you go to H-E-B, these are like 98 cents. Whole Foods, it's gonna be $2.99 a head. I love my salad, my crunch. I get three heads of lettuce every time I come in here. Next thing, almond milk, just sticking to almond milk. The 365 is the Whole Foods brand. You, they did have the uh, the one you can get at like any regular grocery store. I didn't get that, just wanna try theirs out. It's still only 40 calories. The one I usually get unsweetened is 30 calories. Not a huge difference. So salsa, I got the Texas. I'm not sure if this is their own private label brand. I honestly just picked this because it was low in calories, hence dieting, and it was their cheapest one, so. Some of their sauces can get up to like $6.99, $7.99, probably even higher than that. I love sticking to flour tortillas, fat free as well, 110 calories per one, but just love these for you know putting chicken thighs, fat free cheese, making wraps, hit your macros easily, really convenient. When I'm dieting, I am huge into cereal. I always mix my protein into cereal. We're gonna see how this mixes, but it's basically just Frosted Flakes with their 365 private label brand. I didn't know that that was, that was their own brand before, but now I know it's Whole Foods, very own brand. That's why they have like every product in the store. This probably as well, 365. Light Ranch, and I like I said, I don't care if it's organic, but 50 calories, you can't beat that. I don't, I don't like Bold House Ranch. It just tastes too much like yogurt, and I hate that. But uh, I know people that love it. Nick loves it. Other people like it a lot. I'm just not a fan. A few other items now. We are getting into some eggs. This is something I would never get, but medium organic brown eggs. Honestly, they just look pretty good. They weren't too expensive. And we're gonna try those out. So I guess usually the eggs like 70 calories since they're small or medium. I always get larger XL. Those are probably only gonna be like 60 calories per egg. So we got some game changers. Seaweed, so good with rice, which I couldn't find rice and Whole Foods. It's some, I'm, maybe I'm an idiot, but I was walking around everywhere. Couldn't find rice, but you wrap your, you put, usually your rice is gonna be cooked, put it in the microwave, take it out, wrap it with these. It's so good. Great snack, while dieting, low in calories, everything. No fat, it's great. Also, I've been on a mushroom kick lately. Love like, just put them on the pan, put them in my wraps, chicken and rice, adding them to everything, just gives it that extra flavor. Now, Joe's kind of inspired me to get fruit, eat more fruit, because I don't eat enough. I need more vitamin C as well, so picked up strawberries. Big berry fan. The only reason I didn't get other ones, they're just expensive, you know, blueberries. Blackberries, you don't get much, and it's just like seven or eight bucks for a little carton, which is gonna last me a day. Also, got some cantaloupe, get some vitamin C in me as well. It's gonna get oranges, I bypassed on those, but sourdough bread. If you guys follow me, you know when I diet, I like doing the 45 calorie bread. Lately, I haven't been as hungry, so I can eat stuff that's you know more dense in calories, a piece of bread that's 80, 90 calories. That's fine with me right now, just because I feel fuller longer, so I don't have to worry about getting the most, you know, the least amount of calories in foods like carbs, you know, just to stay full all day. So I'm fine with still eating foods like this. So a snack for a while, I try to cut weight, some chips. Usually I don't eat a ton of chips, but I love crunch and adding crunch to my food, even like taco salads, like stuff like that, which a lot of times like serving size for chips is like 15 or 10 chips. It's gonna be like 130 calories. You get a few extra here, 15 chips at 130 calories. Organic again. So on to the meats, this is where it gets expensive. Chicken thighs, I forget what it was, maybe 
like $4.99 or $5.99 a pound, whereas HEB I can get it for $1.99 a pound for chicken breast, so a lot more expensive for your meats. You know, I, for me it doesn't really matter, as long as it's gonna taste good, I'm good with that, but I'm just gonna switch it up, try something different. Love adding chicken sausage in there because I like fattier foods, and when I'm restricting calories, gotta keep my fats usually around 80, 90 grams. That's lower, so eating things like chicken sausage, just fat, a little bit fattier foods, that kind of keeps me satisfied. Something else I'm trying out, just the bagged chicken breast, the 365 brand. I know a lot of people do this when they're dieting, wherever, whatever grocery store they're going in, just because it's for convenience. I personally usually don't do it because I like getting stuff more fresh, but I'm gonna give this one a try. My chicken breast has sucked lately because I'll get those huge ones from or HEB or wherever I'm going. And I should pound them out so they cook evenly, but end up just throwing the whole things in the oven and they don't cook too evenly. So these are flatter, these should cook better. And then another thing I like to add, turkey bacon, because I love fats. And this kind of just, it's not high in fat, but it makes me kind of think that it is because bacon, I fried the crap out of it and then just basically make it burnt in the oven because that's the way I like it. So, and then just a few more things for protein. I'm eating beef tonight. So this is gonna be high in fat, but I'm at like 30 grams of fat today because it's low in groceries, so I was eating chicken and rice the last three meals. So I'll be able to add something like that in tonight. And then last thing, this is the most expensive, $19.99, but you get tons of shrimp. Shrimp again, great protein source. I think a lot of people don't eat it just because it's more expensive, but you know, every once in a while, every couple months, I'll buy a big bag, make shrimp with rice. There's some ketchup on there and it's perfect, but that's it. That's the grocery haul. You're gonna have fun with this. Good to switch it up every once in a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm about 214, 215 right now and weight. Like I said, I wanna get down to 205, so just consistently staying under 3,000 calories or less. I don't fret too much if I go you know, over in fats or carbs, but as long as my calories are under that point, I'm hitting my protein, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. I can still travel while I'm dieting, but that's gonna be the video. I will see you guys in the next one.